Hello everyone, I'm Shyam Pasari and welcome to ASIN Academy. Now as you can see from the title of this video, our topic of discussion for this video is Wilson's Theorem. So without further ado, let's begin with our topic. The Wilson's Theorem is pretty straightforward and direct and the theorem states that when the number p minus 1 factorial plus 1 is divided by the number p, the remainder obtained is 0 and over here p is a prime number. Now if you don't know what is a prime number, then let me explain it to you very briefly. A number which is divisible by the number 1 and itself is called as a prime number. For example, 7 is a prime number because it is divisible by only 1 and 7. 19 is a prime number because it is divisible by 1 and itself. So moving back to the theorem, when p minus 1 factorial plus 1 is divided by p, the remainder is 0. The Wilson's theorem is more commonly stated as follows. When p minus 1 factorial is divided by the number p, the remainder obtained is p minus 1. So this theorem is also restated as this. When p minus 1 factorial is divided by the number p, the remainder obtained is p minus 1. In general, I can say that when p minus 1 factorial is divided by p, the remainder is p minus 1. When p minus 2 factorial is divided by p, the remainder is 1. And when p minus 3 factorial is divided by p, the remainder is p minus 1 whole divided by 2. And in all the three cases, p is a prime number. So let's take an example to confirm. So for example, I take p is equal to 5. Now when p is equal to 5, p minus 1 factorial is equal to 4 factorial. Now I know that 4 factorial is equal to 24. And when 24 is divided by 5, the remainder is 4. And p minus 1, that is 5 minus 1, is also equal to 4. So the first case is verified. Now moving on to the second case, 5 minus 2 factorial is equal to 3 factorial and 3 factorial is equal to 6 and I know that when 6 is divided by 5, the remainder is 1. So the second case is also verified. Now moving on to the third case, now 5 minus 3 factorial is equal to 2 factorial and when 2 is divided by 5, the remainder is 2 itself. Now p minus 1 by 2 in this case is equal to 5 minus 1 by 2 which is equal to 2. So this case is also verified. Now let's take an example so that your concept will be much more clear. So for example, we have to find the remainder when 14 factorial to the power 33 is divided by the number 17. Now first I will check whether I can apply Wilson's theorem or not. And since I have to divide it by the number 17 and 17 is a prime number, so I can apply Wilson's theorem. Now over here, p is equal to 17. Now I can see that 14 is equal to p minus 3. So I have to apply p minus 3 factorial. When divided by p, the remainder is p minus 1 divided by 2. So on putting the value of p, I will get p minus 1 by 2 as equal to 8. So I finally got 8 to the power 33 and I have to divide it by the number 17. Now over here, I can clearly see that I can apply the Fermat's real theorem which states that when a number a to the power p minus 1 is divided by p, the remainder obtained is 1 and where p is a prime number and a and p are co-prime. So I can rewrite 8 to the power 33 as 8 to the power 16 whole to the power 2 divided by 17 into 8. Now according to the Fermat's real theorem, my first part will give me remainder as 1. So I will just be left with 8 by 17 and my final answer will be 8. I hope that you understood how I applied the Fermat's real theorem to solve the later part of this question. And if you have any doubt, then I have made a separate video on it and you can go check that out too. That was all for this video and I hope that you understood all the topics covered in this video. And if you have any doubt, then you can post your doubts down in the comment section or you can send your doubts to us to our channel's official Instagram or Facebook page and we will surely solve your doubt as soon as possible. Or you can go to the official website of ASIN Academy and you can send your doubts to us from there. And all the links are provided down in the description. And if you did like the video, then please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel ASIN Academy.